Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to determine whether or not there are dependent or independent events. Which events are we talking about? Well, we're dealing with supermarkets that are located either on the east or on the west, and they're either in an urban setting or in a rural setting. So you can see here that totally there's 25 plus 50 or 75 supermarkets in the east and there's 50 in the West for a total of 125 supermarkets. We can also classify them as either urban, 45 of them, or rural, 80 of them. So you can see that supermarkets can be both urban and in the East and urban in the West, rural in the East and rural in the West. So there's some sort of uh, what we would call a non-exclusivity there. However, if we separate the two probabilities, for example, if we only look at the probability of being in the East or the probability of being in the West, those are what we call mutually exclusive events. And if we only consider that they're either rural or urban, again, those two together would be considered mutually exclusive. But if we start crossing them over, for example, in the West and rural or East and urban together, those are not mutually exclusive events. But here we're trying to determine if they're independent or dependent events. And we can say that if they were independent, then if, for example, we look for the probability where we have supermarkets in the West and they're also rural, then we should be able to multiply the probability that they're in the West times the probability that they're rural. And if that number equals the number that are both in the West and rural, then we know they're independent events. But if we take a look at it, we can see that if we work this out, we get 32 over 75. But if we look for all the supermarkets that are both in the West and rural, we can do that over here. Here we have West and here we have rural. So that means that we look at this number right here. These are the supermarkets that are both in the West and rural. That's 30 out of 125, which is not equal to 32 over 75. So when we multiply these two probabilities together, we don't get this situation right here. Therefore, we can conclude they are dependent events. Once we know the outcome of one, it will affect the outcome of the other. What if we want to find the probability that the supermarket is in the east or urban? Well, the way to do that is to add the probability that it's east and not urban, plus the probability that it's urban and not east, plus the probability of the intersection of urban and east together. Or we can say that if it's the probability of east and not urban, that means it's the probability of east and rural, because there's only one other option. If it's not urban, it must be rural. And if it's not east, it must be west. So if we add these three probabilities together, we should then get the probability of east or urban. So let's try that. So first, the probability of east and rural. So here we have east, here we have rural, that would be 50 or 50 out of a total of 125 supermarkets, plus the probability of urban and west. So here's urban, here's west, that's 20 supermarkets that fall in that category. And then we add the probability of east and urban. So here we have east and there we have urban, that would be 25, so plus 25 over 125. And if we add all those together, we had 70 plus 25, which is 95 over 125. And so this is the probability that you'll find the supermarket either in the east or in an ur urban setting. And that is how it's done.